Hey everybody, it's been a while, I know. Um, monsoon down in southern Arizona hasn't been great this year for floods. Uh, storms are, are there, but they're just not putting down a lot of rain, so I haven't been able to intercept many flash floods this year. Uh, I still have high hopes for September. Um, I ended up teaming up with Reed Timmer this weekend, and we intercepted Tropical Storm Hillary in Southern California. And so I went out Friday, and uh, there was a, severe, a chance of severe weather around the Salton Sea, so I ended up capturing a haboob kind of coming up the western side of the seaway in this area here. And um, so a storm had formed down in Mexico and worked its way up, and there was a haboob that kind of moved in like this as it came up through the Salton Sea. And, uh, yeah, that was a pretty cool intercept. Um, got some nice photos out of that. So um, take a look at some of those. So this is kind of a closer shot of the Haboo moving up the Salton Sea. And then here it is actually rolling in over the seaway on Friday. That was really cool to see. And then a obligatory lightning shot. So, yeah, that was a pretty fun chase. <clears throat> so, we ended up teaming up on Saturday and coming up with targeting areas um, for Sunday. And so, we decided this area would be the best. San Bernardino Mountains were forecast to get up to 10 to 12 inches of rainfall, which actually did happen, which is amazing uh, and, you know, not good for the people in the area. Um, so these three washes are the main three washes that come out of there, and so we were kind of focusing on these. We had initially focused on Gregorio, then we moved over to Whitewater, um, and we had some other people covering Forest Falls that got some really nice debris flows coming out of Forest Falls. So on Sunday, before the heavy rain bands got up to Banning and the San Bernardino Mountains, we actually shot all the way back down south, south of the Salton Sea, and that was because there was... Uh, a chance for tornadoes moving up the Salton Sea. Um, and we got, we ended up going up through Brawley, um, and this time we stayed on the eastern side of the sea, so we kind of went up around this way to chase these storms. And we ended up getting hammered by flooding coming off this area here. Um, so we ended up having to cross some washes, and it got pretty intense. The rainfall was really something. Um, but we hit uh, a couple of uh, supercells that had kind of worked their way up through here and yeah I got some pretty cool video of those so I'll show that now wow. Do we <laughs> just crank up there it's probably already a spout So we eventually got back north of the, the heavy rainfall that was coming in from those first rain bands. And we got back up into um, Banning. And we initially had focused on this area here for an intercept. But we decided this wash was probably a little too short and there wasn't enough rainfall hitting it. Because the, the storm bands were kind of coming in this direction here. And... So we figured that most of the heavy rain was probably getting pulled out in this area here. So we ended up repositioning and went down to Whitewater Canyon. And so we had, by the time we arrived, if we had left a little sooner, we would have got a nice plug coming out of there. But we ended up going up into Whitewater Canyon. And in this area, by the time we arrived, it was already flowing pretty good. But I had suspicions that um, it was going to be flowing a lot bigger soon. So there's a few clips for that.
So we were in Whitewater Canyon filming. Uh, we got all those crazy shots of the debris coming down and the flooding. And then we had another wall come in on top, another flow come in on top of the flow we were filming. And that filled up most of the whole basin of this wash, which is pretty significant wash. The flooding that ended up hitting the San Bernardino Mountains, uh, which was over 10 inches of rain in like less than a day or a day and a half, ended up funneling down out of these mountains here, here, and up here into Palm Springs area down here. And that caused major problems for the freeway and this whole area here. Just got massively inundated with water. Uh, cars were getting hit by flooding on I-10 on the freeway, so just be aware that you might be driving on a freeway thinking this is a safe option during heavy rain and flooding. Freeways are never, any road is never safe. Um, there's always going to be a flood that's big enough to top a road, and uh, that certainly happened in this case. It was a river gauge kind of in this area down here that picked up 20,000 plus CFS coming out of these mountains, which was insane. So it just completely inundated this area, shut down I-10, and... Yeah, that was all after dark. We just didn't want to mess with the flood after dark, knowing how much water was coming out of Whitewater alone, Whitewater Canyon. We decided it was probably wise just to, to wrap it up for the night. And uh, some other chasers did get a lot of crazy footage in this area of um, damage to, to structures and, and cars and the freeway. It was really a crazy event. So just another... Another thing, if a uh, big heavy rain is coming in like this and they tell you not to go out, especially after dark, don't. Um, I ended up having to get creative and took mountain passes to get back to Arizona. Added about three hours of my drive. It wasn't too bad. was able to get out of there, though. So, yeah, that was uh, that's the overview of the uh, Tropical Storm Hillary and San Bernardino Mountains chase with uh, Reed Timmer. It was a great time. And um, really sorry for the folks that uh, had property damage and, uh, you know, Here's to hoping that California doesn't get hit with another one anytime soon anyway.